the New York City Police Department Intelligence Division came to the imam. They were desperate to find out anything they could find out about Najibullah Zazi, where he was, what he was doing, where he had been, who he was with, and where he was going. And now we know why they were so desperate and why they were so interested. Be, let, let me finish, please. And in the course of that, he said, all right, well, I'll, I'll do my best to find out. They never provided him with a set of directions as to what he should do or what he should not do. They never instructed him not to speak with Mr. Zazi or not to speak with Mr. Zazi's father. So the imam, who hadn't seen Mr. Zazi in quite some period of time, called a succession of people to try to find Mr. Zazi. He doesn't, he, he feels ill-used. That, that he had consistently cooperated with the intelligence division, uh, had a good working relationship with them, he had been a good liaison to the community, always done what, what the police had requested, uh, provided information, set up meetings in the past. They came to him this time, obviously very concerned. He did his very best to do what they wanted him to do, and because he cooperated, he ended up here. 